types of cleanses today. This is a question I've gotten a lot really, really recently because um, I have a group of ladies that we are all kind of banding together. We're doing a May Melt. We're going to be focusing on really just a short amount of time to really reset, get healthy. Um, and it's just a great time to do it before some craziness of summer kicks in. So if you guys have questions on that, you can message me or comment below. I can send you info on that. It's going to be really fun. We're going to go through some specific type of cleansing. We're going to talk about healthy meals, nutrition, all that great stuff. So, um, when we talk about cleansing, a lot of people throw that word around, cleansing, detoxing, all that stuff. And what is the best way to do that? So I'm going to go through some different types of cleansing here. So if you guys have questions, again, comment, message me, whatever. If you find this information helpful, if you would just do me a solid and click the share button, that way other people can get this great info too. Because a lot of people will talk about just one form of cleansing and say, this is the cleanse, this is the whatever. But actually, there's a lot of different forms of this and it does different things in the body and you, it's a different process and system. So not something that enough people know about to really get the maximum benefit from these different things. So the first thing I'm going to go over is an intestinal cleanse. Most people are familiar with this one um, and the term cleansing and uh, that it's going to be an intestinal cleanse. And essentially what that would be is uh, a flush, uh, look, I'm dropping stuff. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to talk about this. <laughs> a flush, a reset um, uh, on everything, but it's focused. So this is your digestive system. This is a picture of it, clearly, right? I'm such a good artist. Um, your intestine, your intestines are basically a big tube and everything passes through there and you break it down and you try and pull out all the nutrients you can from it. Pretty simple. But when you have a lot of, um, stress or other things and damage the bacteria amount in your, in your gut, then it's not going to absorb as well. If you're eating foods that are unhealthy for you or that you're not breaking down properly, it's going to cause irritation, inflammation in your intestines. Again, blocking how well your body can absorb all those nutrients. So sometimes it's a great thing to do an intestinal cleanse or a reset that way. Um, here's an example of how your body naturally does an intestinal cleanse. If you've ever had food poisoning. Yeah, I, quick story. Um, I was actually pregnant with my second and she's nine now. So this was a while ago. I got food poisoning over Thanksgiving and I threw up so hard that I had like bruising around my eyes, like little petechia, little red dots of bruising because I was barfing so hard and it was terrible. Um, but that's a form of intestinal cleansing that your body goes through, you know, both ends, we'll say. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, right? Because there's a, a toxin in your intestines and your body says, no, no, let's get it out of here as quickly as possible. So that's what it does. So an intestinal cleanse is designed to do something sort of similar. Yeah, hopefully not as violent as when you have food poisoning, but still, um, it's, uh, yeah, that's what it does. So intestinal cleansing here, your intestines are here, and it's basically like a rotor rooter like shoving everything out of your intestines as quickly as possible. So this is a type of a cleanse where you just, you need to be near a bathroom. It's hard to leave home, hard to get a lot done that day. Not that it's not good, but there's, there's a time and a place for that. If that's something that you really need, then absolutely something to reset on. But a lot of times people think this is going to help me lose weight. You will drop water weight. You will drop some, maybe some inflammation, but it's not going to be actual uh, fat loss, which is what people really want to do, right? You, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I want to get healthy. I want to lose weight or all these other things, right? Okay. Like duration of something like this is can be one day, it can be up to seven days. You know, this is an average-ish time of some intestinal cleanses. Um, so imagine that seven days where you are roto rooter right through there. That's uh, that's intense, right? That's intense. Um, so it flushes everything out right through your intestines. It it allows your intestines to sort of rest because um, not a lot of breakdown and digestion is happening. It just can't because everything's passing through. So now the other part of that too is that you're not overall absorbing a ton of nutrient at that time. Think about that. If everything is designed to be just plowing through your intestines very quickly, how much nutrient are you gonna be absorbing from your food? Not a lot. So not that you could be nutritionally depleted just from doing an intestinal cleanse, but you're not gonna be fueling your body correctly for that. Does that make sense? 
So a lot of times people will do these like extreme diets or other things or add these things into drinks that they're drinking all day and that they get this other result. Oh look, I lost four pounds. Four pounds of water weight, not four pounds of fat loss. Very different. Um, and it's also really important that if you are doing this, and again, there's a time and a place for this, but that you are replenishing the good bacteria in your intestines so that when you do have that total reset, your body can then break everything down and absorb all those nutrients that you need and your body needs. The second type of cleanse that people talk about is a liver cleanse. Now, a liver cleanse, your liver naturally detoxes. It's, a, it's your biggest organ for detoxification in your body. So, duh, of course, it's going to, you know, <laughs> you're like, well, some people have this argument, like, why do I need to do a cleanse? I got a liver. Well, your liver is designed to detox everything naturally that you come into contact with all day long. So that's its, that's its job. When it gets overloaded with stuff, overloaded with stress hormone, overloaded with other hormones, overloaded with crap, with toxins, with junk, with things that are in fast food or environmental toxins, things like that, that overwhelms your liver and then it has a hard time keeping up with that. It's not designed to do that. I mean, the liver was created however many, you know, hundreds, okay, I'm not a archaeologist person, but right, this is not like a new design necessarily, your physique, your body system. So the environmental toxins that we have today, people did not have 200 years ago. So the liver job 200 years ago was way easier than the liver job now. So your liver barely has enough to keep up with on an everyday basis. So that's why it's important to really focus on doing a specific liver detox. Now, foods can help do that. So if you're eating foods that do help naturally detox the liver, right? Things like le celery, lemon, garlic, there's grapefruit, you know, olive oil. These are healthy foods that you should just be eating all the time anyway, right? But they do help cleanse the, and detox the liver. Super duper, right? <laughs> okay. But um, if you're going to be focusing on a quote unquote liver detox, having some supplements or tea that you drink around that liver detox, great. But that's just going to be helping your liver flush through everything in your body more. Um, but I want to say it's, it's not geared towards a weight loss thing. So again, where people say, I'm doing this cleanse and I'm going to get skinny and yay. But no, that's not what, that's not what it does. Um, for liver, I mean, at least three days it should be. I've seen things that are shorter, but I'm like, that's not, again, no. Like, just no. Like, stop trying to throw stuff out there that's not helpful for people. Um, I, I, it makes me, like, angry when people, I feel like women get targeted enough for a bunch of, like, crap products or other things. So I recently just made a list of my favorite things on my website um, and I'm going to be adding to that list. These are things that I use personally, that I um, have done research on. I mean, and it's anything from food items to gluten-free things, because I'm gluten-free and my kids are gluten-free. So things that I use and like and my kids like, even to like my favorite dog leash <laughs> that, um, that I use for taking my dog running, because I'm trying the running thing. Anyway, so a good liver cleanse should be at least... Three to 14 days, um, you know, somewhere in that range. If it's seven days, great. If it's five days, super. Again, just depending on what you're kind of coming across. That's about a duration of what it would be to actually do the thing of detoxing your liver if you're focused on it. And again, like I said, it should be something else besides just the food. Just using food. Again, good. Good. But that's how it's normally doing. And like I said, your liver today has to do a lot more work than the liver from 200 years ago. Very different, and, and, and before, right? But our livers, are, our bodies are not made that differently today than they were like 200 years ago. So just kind of some things to think about in terms of your results or where you're at and what your goals are for health. So intestinal cleanse, roto rooter through your guts. You will lose weight from water weight and inflammation. But again, after coming off of that, it's really, really easy to put on more inflammation and weight and everything, especially if you're not being healthy about this. Liver, great. Always good to support your liver. Be nice to your liver. Um, so your liver is nice to you. And then um, it is good to support that with some other supplements and tea or things like that. So again, if you guys have questions on this, you can let me know if you're like, hey, I'm wondering about this for me or I've done this before and I liked it, but my results didn't last. It's probably because it was just a temporary thing and it wasn't designed the way that you were marketed to, if that makes sense. The last thing is a cellular cleanse, so really focusing on the fat cells. So this is the one type of cleansing that really focuses on your actual fat uh, tissue in your body. So 
Th what did you say, Katie? Thank you for all of this info all the time. Oh, it's my pleasure. This is my jam. Let another quick story. So I had a gentleman just come to my house today um, because he's with Comcast and they have internet or whatever. And so these are these are things that I don't know. Like I don't. This is not in my wheelhouse. Like he's like telling me about their faster internet and blah blah blah. I'm like, sure, I want faster internet. Who doesn't want faster internet, right? So I'm like, sure, sir, let's chat about internet. La 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 la. And um, and so he was looking at like my router and stuff, and he was asking what I do, and I was like, I do videos on nutrition. Let me tell you about nutrition. Mm, let me just talk about it, right? So then I just started diving down this hole on nutrition, and he was just like, oh wow, like he was interested, but I was like, this is like this is what I do. I like I can't help, I can't stop myself. And I sent him away with a bottle of kombucha. You know, I mean, like, I mean, we chatted and I'm going to get internet from him because I really like faster internet. But he was asking me a bunch of stuff and I was like, oh, have you tried kombucha? Oh, you got to try kombucha. Here you go, sir. Here's some kombucha. <laughs> so I really like this stuff. Okay. <laughs> Cellular cleanse, that focuses on your actual fat tissue and really changing that, focusing on your metabolism, everything else. None of these types of cleanse, cleanses focus on fat tissue, focus on your BMI, focus on metabolism. Very, very different. Are they good? Yes. Are they important at specific times? Absolutely. But they're not going to focus on and getting you towards a weight loss or health goal in the same way, if that kind of makes sense. So just some important things to kind of put in the back of your head on, okay, what are my goals? What do I want to do? And then what's going to be the right thing for me to move forward in? So cellular cleansing focuses on your fat cells and focuses on that piece of it. Um, I recommend always supporting your body nutritionally when you're going through these types of things, meaning, um, you know, eating clean, making sure you get enough vitamins, minerals, all that other stuff, right? Like there's a base foundation that you should be doing so that when you go through any type of cleanse or any type of detox, it's successful for you. So, um, so that's a kind of a baseline thing. But also cellular focuses on fast cells, focuses on your metabolism, focuses on really changing a lot of that for you, flushing everything that's out of those fat cells that's stuck in there. And anywhere from 24 to 48 hours, um, you know, to really, really be effective. At least that 24 hour mark is a lot of where I focus time with people to start because that's, that's just, it's a great place to start and really see some results and really notice a difference. Um, it also does that, you know, boost your immune system. It helps your digestive system rest and repair. So many benefits to it. But another thing is it boosts. Boo I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I talk too fast. Oh my God, let me tell you about more hormones. Ah! <laughs> it boosts your growth hormone. So by, in, by going through a cellular cleanse, you're actually going to boost your growth hormone in women by 1300% from a 24 hour cellular cleanse. That's incredible. So growth hormone is one of those hormones that is actually in charge of giving you more energy, making your workouts more effective, building more lean muscle, helping you lose weight, actually targeting those fat cells in a completely different way. So not only are you targeting those fat cells while you're doing the cellular cleansing, you're boosting your growth hormone, which then is going to help you burn more fat after, for three weeks after. So 24 hours and you get three weeks of benefit. Woo! For those of you that have had food poisoning, you know what I mean. Just saying. So that's another huge, huge benefit. And this has been proven in studies and stuff for women. Huge proponent of information for women that makes a big difference. And that's going to get you the right result. So that's what I have on cleansing. That's the information I've got for you today. Kind of went off on a tangent a little bit. But this is, I think, I consider a good baseline of info for people to kind of go through and evaluate, you know, what are your goals? A lot of times people will say, oh, I really want to do something or I want to, I want to lose weight or I want to, you know, something, but it's, you're not thinking of what you like, of what your actual goal is first before you're like, oh, look, this is a new cleanse. I'll do this. Yay. And then it's either not the right thing or you have a hard time going through it or you're not getting the right results and it's just amazing. So when you're actually like following the thing to get you to the right result, then absolutely it's going to be the right thing for you. Um, oh, <laughs> so that's, this is the information I've got for you on the types of cleansing. Super, super exciting. Oh, hi spot. Spot the wonder dog is now here. He's probably going to interrupt the video again because 
He does. Hi, puppy. You're such a good boy. I know. I know. Ow, you're stepping on my foot, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's stepping on my foot. Oh, such a good boy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. We're so excited. Spot loves cellular cleansing. Just kidding. Dogs don't cellular cleanse. You eat too much junk outside. Yes, you do. Yes, you do, puppy, puppy. Oh. Okay. So, anyway, if you guys have questions, let me know. <laughs> um, if there's... See, he's bump, bumping the stand. He's so excited. He's so excited about the other clothes I do. Uh, message me. And thank you for watching. And, again, if you find this helpful, please click the share button. Because so many people get misled in this whole thing here. And I just want to help them and get more information that's helpful to them. So, everybody have a great night. And I will see you tomorrow.